Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. In today's video we have a look at the Baofeng DM32UV multiband DMR radio. Let's get started. A special thanks to Baofeng for sponsoring this video. I will include links down in the description where you can buy this radio. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like reading manuals or instructions. So let's start with the unboxing. Let's see what's inside. We have the manual, then we have an antenna, which is, uh, come on, which is multiband. It's hard to read something up to 174 megahertz and 400 megahertz to 5 is it 520 it's hard to read on screen let's go on then we have the charging dock or cradle we have the power supply with usb-c that's good and then we have this protective cover which slides over the radio we have a battery let's get a little bit closer here hope you can read it 2500 milliamp hours um, 8.4 volts, 18.5 volt hours. Then what do we have here? A headset. And then finally we have the radio here. Not finally, because there is the, the belt clip. And here's the radio. Let's move this to the side, I don't need the, the headset at the moment. Let's um, see how everything fits together. Here's the battery. This slides in place or not. Uh, maybe I have to press these clips here. Uh, or I have to screw it in. Yeah, I have to screw it in. That's nice. Uh, let's get this screw out just a little bit. And then I can screw this in place. Yeah. That's a proper solution. Uh, let me unscrew it one more time. Okay, this, this is a really nice fit. Is there a rubber? Um, around here? No, it's not. I'm not sure if this is waterproof, but uh, we will find out later. Yeah. There is a gasket which protects the contacts. And I guess the battery pack is also waterproof. So overall, the radio must be waterproof. Let's, uh, let's move on and we will find out later when we come to the manual or when we read the specs on the Baofeng website. Okay, I don't tighten this too much at the moment. Just using my nail to screw this in, and here we go. Then here is this plastic thingy. How does this work? Maybe so. Yeah, here we go. The radio simply slides in place, like so, and the belt clip goes on here like so 
This is nice because now you can clip it on your belt or somewhere else and it's always possible to slide the radio out if you need it and if you want to have it on your belt just slide it in. That's nice. And here is the charging dock, charging cradle. Okay, you definitely... How does this stay in place? Let's... Is there a lock? No, it's not. Let me push this a little bit. No, there is no lock. So if you put it into the cradle, you have to push it up here. Because when you hold it on this uh, protection thingy here, then you will slide it down. Let me do this again. Yeah, then you slide it down. But the radio is heavy enough so it slides in. Oh no, you just need a little bit of force here to push it in. Let me hook up the charger. And, uh, come on. Um, where is my power outlet? Over here. Let's connect the cradle and it lights up in red. And yeah, as it says here, red is charging, green is completed. If you slide it in, it turns red and now it's charging. Very nice. Okay. And is there another way to charge this uh, thing? Let's have a look down here. Note this is just for the headphone jack and for the programming cable, let's say. I will find out later if this is compatible with one of my programming cables, but I guess it is. Ah, okay, here uh, at the back of the battery there is also a USB-C port. Let's plug it in and hope you can see it. There's a red ring now uh, indicating it's charging and I guess this turns green if the battery... Yeah, if I plug it in you can... Oh, come on. You can see a short green flash before it turns red. Let me plug it in again, have a look. Yeah, short green flash, so that means if the battery is full, this light turns also green. Let's have a quick look at the specs on the Baofeng website. So it's a 10 watt multiband DMR radio, um, a 2 inch display, color display. Uh, you can personalize your phone colors. Um, 2.7 ounces, 360 grams. Uh, okay, let's stay here. 4,000 channels you can save and 250 zooms. And it's, um, yeah, it's doing digital and, yeah, I know, just digital APRS. Okay, that's fine. So there's a built in GPS as well. NOAA reception and alert. That's interesting for you folks in the United States and in Canada. And yeah, multiple charging methods, as I've showed before, via the cradle or directly um, on the back of the battery. And you have four customizable keys. Let's scroll through here. What do we have? Yeah, powerful 10 watt DMR performance. Deliver clear digital voice. And yeah, I will find out in one of the next videos. Um, it's a dual DMR and analog mode. So you can have DMR two times or analog two times or analog and DMR. Multiband transmit and receive and GPS and digital APRS, you know, massive contact storage as mentioned before, all-in-one functionality, 
10 hour digital voice recording, 4 detection alarm, customizable keys and so on and so on and check out the download area for the manual and the CPS. Let's go there and let's do this. Uh, UV series DM series DM32 UV. No, I don't want notifications right now. Let's go in here. And here we have the CPS, the firmware, a picture tool and the manual and the firmware update guide. Let me download this all here. Even I'm on a Mac right now. I think this is Windows software, but I will copy this over to the Windows PC later. And yeah, here's an FCC certificate and a CE certificate as well. Let me continue with a size comparison. So here is the DM32. And this is a, what kind of radio is this? A UV25 series, I guess. So this is the bigger brother, uh, but it's analog. And here, let me remove the antenna. And here is the UV5R Mini. So let's turn it to the side. Every radio, here we go. Uh, they are identical in thickness. Maybe this one, the UV25, uh, is a little bit thicker. Let's turn it around. Here we go. Yeah, sorry, the battery clip is still on here. And yeah, and this is the top view. Let me move the radios over here. So you get an idea how big this radio is. What's interesting is the charging contacts for the cradle or for the dock are on the front of the radio compared to this one or most of the radios where the contacts are on the back. Let me put these radios here aside and then we have a closer look at the DM32. So on the top we have an SMA mail connector. Let me zoom in a little bit. Hope you can see it better. SMA male and an SMA female antenna. Here we have the channel selector and on off switch. 12. And I'm in channel mode right now. Let me turn this off again. Then we have a single PTT, not like on the UE5R Mini, for example or many new radios where you have this dual double PTT button and function keys here, function key number one and number two. Uh, the menu button, I guess, up, down, home and return and the keypad here and on the right hand side you have this uh, little protection rubber yeah, and down here, beneath here, you find uh, the connector for the headset or for the programming cable. Before I turn the radio on, let me screw in the antenna so I do not kill the transistor accidentally by pressing the PTT without an antenna. And then let's turn the radio on. Okay, there's a little bit of noise. This is because of my LED lights around here. These are the studio lights. And yeah, how can I switch? Oops, um, yeah. The display timeout time is very short. So let's go to the menu first. And let's go to settings. And maybe it's in radio settings. 
um, I assume it's in display functions, light time. That sounds great to me. Yeah, five seconds. Let's switch this to always on just for the video. And start display. Yeah, you can start with a picture, character string, or the voltage. Let me check if I can tighten the squelch. I'm not sure where this is. Maybe in channel settings. Uh, sorry for the noise. Uh, RX frequency, RX squelch mode is carrier, but where can I set the level? Uh, maybe in radio settings, voice function. No. Display function, other function. Here we have mic gain, digital mic gain, analog mic gain, that's good. You have two separate mic gains because um, there is a difference in, uh, in audio level between analog and digital. Oops. Okay. Yeah. I was waiting too long, so uh, the radio turned back to the VFO. Uh, okay, that was in radio settings, other functions. I'm sure you can set the menu timeout anywhere in the menu. Frequency step, power safe, FM radio, weather alarm, TPST cell, tail, analog squelch lever. Here we go. Let's set this to, I don't know, let's try five. Oh, it's still okay okay yeah that's my studio lights here let's set the squelch level to five again okay folks that's it for today in the next few days i will use this radio to get familiar with it and in one of my next videos i will do a detailed um, review of the menu I will do and transmit and receive audio test and so on. Stay tuned. 73. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.